This week on Distant Shores, come along on one of our Sail Away Weeks, this time in the Netherlands aboard a Lemsterak, a traditional Dutch gaff-rigged sailboat. While work continues on our new custom aluminum Orion 49, we and our guest crew face the challenges of learning to sail a classic boat together as we explore the Dutch canals and Frisian islands off the north coast. Join us on this fun-filled cruise and learn the ropes with us on this very special boat. We're Cheryl and Paul Shard, hosts of the Distant Shores Sailing Adventure TV series. We've been cruising and living aboard for 32 years, documenting the sailing lifestyle. While our new custom aluminum Orion 49 is being built, we're having fun chartering interesting boats in unique destinations. We invite you to come along. All right, we got tons of stuff. We got food for a couple of days, but we're planning on eating out many days in these cute little towns we get to go by. It looks like a nice but windy day to start off with. And here is the Vrouw Francesca, which means the Lady uh, Francis, I think. All spruced up and ready, her spars painted, her huge sideboard there, ready to go for a week of adventure. We are so excited to be aboard and our guests are arriving. We're going to have a great crew. Hey guys. Hello. Good morning. Come on down and take a look. Excellent. <laughs> Come on in. On this Sail Away Week aboard Vrau Francisca, we have six guest crew members joining us, all who have sailed with us before in various locations. The first to arrive are Canadians Doug and Maggie, followed by Rick and Debbie, also from Canada, and Americans Dave and Laurie. It's the first time for all of us to be aboard Vrau Francisca, and Debbie can barely contain her excitement. Oh, how is it? <laughs> What's your first impression of the boat? Oh, gorgeous, gorgeous. Absolutely amazing. Hey, everybody. Fritz is going to give everyone a briefing on deck, so. All right, hey. We get to learn the ropes, so to speak. So come on up on deck, and Fritz is ready to go, so. Maggie. Good afternoon, my name is Fritz. Hi, Fritz. Nice to meet you, Fritz. Uh, yeah, first of all, welcome on board of uh, Pro Francisca, and I hope you will have a nice uh, week uh, with this boat. And I uh, will give some explanation how to use uh, yeah, the winches and all these things. But I understood you are all experienced sailors, and that gives me a good uh, idea, so uh, that's very nice. At the moment, the boat is in a nice condition. Please try to bring it back in the same condition. First, we'll explain the anchor. It doesn't look like our anchor windlass. No. No. Where's the button? <laughs> <laughs> it's all by hand, and uh, no, it's a really easy system. Fritz goes on to explain the working of the anchor windlass, not power-operated as we're all used to on our own boats. And we pay close attention since dropping the anchor can oh, often save one. you in an emergency. And now we bring this over To be there. honest, learning to use the antique equipment and rig on this classic sailboat and experiencing what it's like to sail a boat from the past is why we're all here. And you will become... Okay. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Have a look here. Thankfully, there are a few modern additions, such as the furling sails and a bow thruster, which will help with maneuvering this very heavy, slow-to-respond, flat-bottom boat. Oh, that's, that's not bad. That's, I'm trying it's to a big that. heavy boat. How, how, how go <laughs> Although we are all very experienced sailors and own our own boats, none of us have sailed a Lemstrak before, so are required to do four hours of training, starting with orientation of rigging and sails, navigation equipment, mechanical systems, and maintenance routines with Fritz at the dock. Then off we go for three hours of on-water training with Martin, a classic yacht sailing instructor. Martin gives us advice and tests our ability to maneuver the boat, and we also do a trial docking of the boat along the canal. Already the crew is working as a team and we know it's going to be a great week. We're doing docking practice. Everything takes a little longer than it would on our boats. This thing weighs nearly twice as much. Great. 
Yay, yeah, Captain! Uh, turn around. <laughs> we carry on through the canal and encounter our first aqueduct that takes us over the highway. We also go through lift bridges. Everyone who wants to takes a turn at the wheel. We encourage our guests to participate as much or as little as they want, build their skills, or just enjoy the ride. Good job. Did your first bridge? That's a narrow one too. <laughs> the landscape begins to change as we approach our destination, the village of Grau, where Martin has a ride waiting for him. We'll spend the night in the marina, then we'll head out on our own tomorrow. We're going to be aboard Vrau Francisca for seven days and six nights, and I've planned out a nice route with a variety of navigational features. We started at the charter base in Lewarden today and traveled by canal with Martin to the marina at Grau this afternoon. We'll stay in the canals tomorrow and practice sailing through small Frisian lakes en route to Stavoren on the Iselmere or Isel Lake, where we'll do more sailing on day three. Next stop is Mackham, where we'll lock through into the Wadden Sea and sail to the Frisian islands of Leland, then to Skelling, before returning to the mainland at Harlingen on day six. From there, we'll return by canal to Leewarden to give back the boat. It's going to be a good day. Should be some fun with the charts. <laughs> Might rain a little later. So we head from Grau. We have, we're just following these charts to see where we have any bridges to worry about, which bridges there are, and figuring out the route. So then we cross over here to the Hegemir. Now we should be able to sail in here, so we might try sailing in either of these, I suppose. Now what's our destination today? We're going to Stavoren today, which is right on the coast. It's, it's very beautiful and one of the oldest towns in the whole of Friesland. Should be exciting. We're headed down for Stavoren today, which is about four and a half or something hours, maybe with a locker. There's a sea lock at the end and there's a bridge or two. So, underway in the Frisian Lakes. How are you feeling being at the helm? Well, I'm feeling like we've kind of got the hang of this motoring around and maneuvering business. And mostly managing the boat, like where all the pumps and switches and breakers and everything are. And we just have to get the sails up, so we will be raising the sails in an hour or so when we get into our first little lake. This is a very meaningful trip for Dave. He's feeling a connection with his seafaring Dutch ancestors who sailed similar shallow draft sailing barges to carry cargo and for fishing, what Lemsteraks were originally designed for. Dave and his sister Carol recently discovered that one of their Dutch relatives, Landert Fierspoor, received recognition for valiantly rescuing victims of a shipwreck in a violent storm on the 26th of January, 1844. Landert received the certificate, a silver medal and 20 guilders for his bravery. We've had a good day on the canal, despite the gray windy weather, managing the boat, swing bridges and lift bridges, but we are yet to try sailing. We're entering the small Frisian lakes, so now is our chance.
I gotta go around this. Sorry, guys. Right here. Dave owns a gaff-rigged Marshall cat boat, a smaller version of this boat, so we're taking guidance from him today on this rig. It's really cool, we're actually sailing. So, tell us all about what's going on. We've got the mainsail up and the peak halyard is pulling it up. We've got the sword down on the side, the lee board. They call it a sword. We've got our jib out and we're actually sailing. So that is pretty cool. These boats have been hauling cargo through these lakes 200 years ago and we're sailing one now. How's everybody doing? Great! <laughs> you should all be proud of yourselves. This is quite a challenge. From Stavoren, we'll sail up the Iselmere to Mackham today. Then tomorrow we'll transit the sea lock into the shallow Wadden Sea, out to the Frisian Islands, first to Vleeland, then to Skelling. What are you doing here, Paul? I'm tightening up the running back today. That's what's holding the mast up, and we like to have the mast up. <laughs> Highly recommended. After the strong winds yesterday, the winds have dropped right off and we take the opportunity to get the drone in the air to see what she looks like with all sails set. Almost dead downwind right now. What a hoot. This boat is so beautiful. And seeing her sail with these gorgeous sails on this beautiful day now that the breeze has come up a little. Look at that. That is lovely. We're only making three or four knots, but the breeze is only maybe six. And it's an absolutely gorgeous way to spend Monday afternoon. So this is one speed. You put the winch handle in here. If you want the second speed, you put the winch handle in this one. And then that other gear drives it. Or you can move this handle to engage the gear over in this other winch to use that handle or this one. So it's like you've got two one-speed winches with a two-speed option that works on both of them. That's pretty snazzy. Coming down. So we're getting a high at 11, so if we get out there just so 12 or something, southeast. we'll see the, like, see the highest water and then it'll be a dropping tide. So if we run aground, we can get stuck for a long time. Right. Cool. It's, it's about running <laughs> Late on the land. As long yeah. as we're provisioned, <laughs> yeah. we're good. If that stove works, we can hang out there for days. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 Even without Wi-Fi, I'm good. I can just use my phone. Today we leave the Iselmere, or Isel Lake, through the most eastern set of locks right close to Mackham. Transiting locks is a new experience for some of our guests on this trip, and this lock is impressive. We'll be passing through the 19 mile or 31 kilometer long dike and causeway called the Afslu Dike that blocks off the freshwater Iselmere from the saltwater Wadden Sea.
So that's pretty cool. We get to go up one meter to get up to sea level, a little bit more than a meter actually, to get to sea level as we leave the Eiselmere and head into the Wadensee. Now we enter the shallow saltwater Wadden Sea. The tide is high at the moment, but at low water the sandbanks outside the well-marked channels will be dry. You have to really watch the tides here and keep to the channels. Lumsterax are designed with flat bottoms, so can dry out, meaning sit on the ground, at low tide if necessary. We reach the harbour at the island of Vleeland in a few hours and have perfect conditions for approaching the narrow entrance. If there are strong winds and or currents running, you can be swept down. We're in Vleeland, which is one of the Frisian islands, our first one that we're visiting here. It's a tight little entrance, a snug little harbour full of these beautiful classic yachts. These islands are out in the water and sea, quite remote really. I have called ahead and have been told there is a space available for us at the far end of the harbour but it's looking pretty packed today. Hey, we got other lemstrachs here. I'm really feeling for Paul, having to maneuver this big heavy boat in such tight quarters. But with his usual calm, he docks the boat beautifully. Outside, the tidal flats are exposed at low tide now, but we are safe and secure in Vleeland's excellent harbour. There is a small settlement in Vleeland, and we spend the morning ashore as we wait for the tide. I take the opportunity to stock up on fresh supplies while the others explore the town, rent bicycles, or enjoy the sunshine at one of the outdoor cafes. Then it's time to cast off the dock lines and head for the nearby island of Terskelling. This is the last day there will be enough wind for sailing before we head back to the mainland to enter the canal and return the boat. The crew is keen and confident. Everyone knows the routine now and it's a beautiful day.
part of any day is the of that damn drone. <laughs> Another stressful part of a day can be maneuvering a very heavy boat backwards into a tight fairway. In the summer season, the harbours in the Frisian Islands are usually busy, and Cheryl's called ahead to confirm that they have room for us here on the island of Terskelling. It's quite common to be rafted up two or three boats deep. Everyone expects it and knows the routine, plus it's a very nice way to meet local sailors. Hey, success, we made it. Hey, everybody. Did you have a good day today? Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Great, day. Great day sailing and yeah. phenomenal weather and sun and what the heck. Sun bike riding. Bike riding. We hope you've enjoyed the voyage too. If you did, please hit that like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more Distant Shores adventures. We'd love to have you along for the ride on future voyages. Join us next time when we get back to boat building in Mackham to check on the progress of our new Orion 49 aluminum sailboat. The week has been amazing. We get to uh, sail this beautiful boat. We got all the sails up. We had everything. We had light winds. We had heavy winds. We had a little bit of rain. Beautiful sunny days. The boating culture here is incredible. Everybody's out in a boat. Sailboats, motor boats, a lot of steel boats, aluminum boats. Really pretty exciting week. Loved it. Great week overall. Covered a lot of territory, a lot of different experiences we never would have done if it weren't for Paul and Cheryl.